Hi. This one is a page where I create a background. Stick around to see how I turn a 3D model made by me also into a finished background painting that you can look at and admire and enjoy to your complete discretion. This here is uh, a page, one of the many that I have done in the past couple of months. And I am lining it, blocking the colors, adding shading and light. And for this page, I tried to work with one single layer of shading. Before this, I had started by uh, selecting each side and then choosing a darker tone for the shirt, for the trousers, for the costume separately. Now, in the uh, spirit of uh, self-preservation, I tried to offer the whole page an homogeneous shading and I simply set a layer on multiply and went with the brownish or purple-ish color. Sometimes I use brown, sometimes I use purple. I don't really remember which one was it. And I created the shading. Then I went with the light color on a lightning, lightener, light, light something layer. And I made that possible too. After all this was done, I added some tweaks here and there and fixed the background, which is a separate monster on its own. And there you go, that was it. End of story, end of the fun. The most important part of this drawing though is the first panel, which was a 3D generated background made by yours truly about two years ago when I first started this little endeavor. And um, <clears throat> I guess it's one of the ones I used the most. I have a couple two more, one with foxes inside house and one with a kitchen, traditional whatever random kitchen that I was supposed to use for some of the sheep family panels. And I gave up in the end. I'll use them probably at some point in the future. There is time. This comic can offer me so much. So I still have time to use them, but as a whole, they're not present. I actually tried to make a house for the landlord, but uh, no, it's, it's not working. Um, I need to start over. It looks very bad. It's unrealistic and way too large. Anyway, I, uh, I, I go by making a screen capture of the page. I slap it into the file on a different layer. I tweak it and adjust it. And then I cut out the gray background. I had a sun, I had a sky for this, but whatever happened with the sky, I don't know because I can't use it anymore. I don't know what happened to him. I totally had a blue sky on this. I don't know where it went. What on earth happened to it? I don't know. It's, it's beyond my understanding. I don't get it. I just don't. It's, it's over me. I said it's beyond my understanding. Well, I suppose I could add a panel with some blue on it just to make it directly in the 3D model. Fortunately, I'm not saving the 3D model anymore. I, I'm stuck with the same version. As you can see, I'm adjusting two of the objects in the scenery that are floating in the air. At some point in the video that happens. And uh, I don't hit save because uh, the thing that Blender does, it always saves another version of the same file instead of overwriting the file that was already. And while yes, it opens the last version when I click on it, I always have a previous one saved somewhere in the computer and I don't know how to get there and I don't know how to erase it. And I don't want a hundred versions of the same thing, which is why I try very hard to make these projects in one go, just so I don't have a hundred version of the same thing. And it's very, very complicated and it's a great deal of bother and a great deal of trouble. Anyhow, hopefully it will get solved in the future. 
in the also great glorious future when my brain will start functioning and I'll be able to handle a 3D program. Up until then, we still have a troublesome subject here. The greenery, it was so complicated. Actually, it was fun. It was the first time it was fun. And I didn't, but still, I stepped, I kept wondering myself, why did I do so many uh, branches and added so much color under them if I was gonna play a play? A sp- splash a green color over it. I should have planned that beforehand, but Dell, there you go. And I almost covered the house with the bushes. It was scary as heck. Well, yeah. Any other things to say? I don't have anything else to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, page. Next week we will, you will have a shot of uh, the full episode coming up, and this page will be out... Um, in the episode that it's right next, it, at the end of the period, just go and check out the comic and see it for yourself. And if you want to see how I made that entire episode, which is probably the longest I've made yet, you can uh, tune up next week when I will show you a uh, full recording of how I format the a4 page, this presumably A4 page, into a full panel, a full episode actually. It's not a panel, it's an episode. Until next time, bye.